Indeed, El Shaddai, El Shaddai, Adonai. Greetings, beloved hearts of love. It is I, Papa Son, who greet you this day. Today I wish to remind you of the many times over the years to declare daily, to say yes to life. I say yes to life. Indeed, over many years I have encouraged you to do this. In fact, to also remind you, beloved hearts, that this week is the 26th anniversary of the return of the Universal Mother's Presence, Mother Akasha, to your world, and the 26th anniversary of the Radiant Rose Academy. And I extend my love and gratitude, my appreciation to each of you. Throughout these many years of the Academy, many revelations have been provided. And through the study of the Tree of Life teachings, the Ascended Master teachings. Today you are all on a wonderful journey of being less of a seeming fractured, limited person and are becoming more whole once again, more joyful, more enlightened, and more awakened than at any time before. Awakened to the truth of your existence, the purpose and destiny of life on earth, of your race, I see each of you in a wondrous state of becoming your true self on earth. Beings of infinite consciousness, of light, of love, grooming your evolution through biological, physical bodies in a world of substance, matter, form, manifestation, and experience. In our studies, we have presented the truth about your natural state of beingness, which includes omnipresence, omnipotence, omniscience, as being the natural states of your divine mind, heart, and soul. As this is not yet your full experience of these mighty qualities and activities of life, my goodness, are they not such wondrous words? Omnipresence, omnipotence, omniscience. And I say again, as this is not yet your full experience, yet it is the natural state of your God being, this reveals that your state of becoming your true self on earth is not yet fully realized and demonstrated in your lives on earth. Here, we can understand that to this glorious victory of living your whole divinity and demonstrating this in your daily life, it is for this reason 
there is yet a journey, a path of becoming, of evolution, of resurrection, ahead of each of you. And for the many of you that have initiated your awakening several years ago, this is advanced awakening and is part of the nature of personal and universal growth inherent within each of you. And it was never meant that you would do this alone. That you would always have those guides, those teachers who would assist you. Beginning with discovering that there is a master teacher, an inner guide in the very depths of your consciousness. So regarding this path of becoming, it is your destiny, it is the destiny of every individualized being throughout the cosmos. Not to be the same, to keep growing, evolving, changing, recognizing precious hearts, that you are all creator beings. And there are many true powers and assets of your being that are yet to be discovered. They are there. They are within you and around you and above you. Powers waiting to be uncovered, discovered. These inherent powers of life waiting to be embraced by you that you may become your destiny of becoming in your life experience. Unlimited beings of infinite consciousness learning how to express the infinity of your being in a world of form substance and manifestation. I hope that with all that you have studied, the growth that each of you are making, that there is an eternal sunrise of greater light, greater intention in comprehending why. Why does Papa Son encourage us to declare every day I say yes to life? In mysticism, metaphysics, and some religions too. The voice of God, of creation, of divine universal mind, is taught as saying many mighty statements, such as, I am here, I am there, I am Everywhere. In Ascended Master teachings, you discover that I is the name of God's source. And 
I am is God source, God life in action. And this is the truth of each of you, endowed with the infinite powers of creation itself. Yet not all of these divine powers and assets have been discovered or lived in your lives. You must continue to study to become aware. Awareness. Awareness is the key to uncovering the jewels of your life. Awareness is the key to cooperating and enjoying the gifts of life that are everywhere present and being open and receptive to the omnipresent gifts of life that are waiting to be greater fulfillment in your lives. Thus, the reason for the journey of awakening to all that you truly are and the path of becoming all that you are and a life of demonstrating all that you are in your personal lives and then helping others to do the same. So let me now get back to my reminding each of you daily to declare, I say yes to life. And then, of course, I added more to that statement. I say yes to life, and life says yes to me in all its victory. For this mighty truth to unfold in your personal experience, there must be cooperation. You must discover the greater powers that are everywhere and how to access life that loves to fulfill all that you dare to dream. Life, precious hearts, is everywhere and beyond what seems visible and physical. In your world is what we suggest is the invisible, yet not really invisible, only invisible to your present and current use of your physical sight, which in time will evolve to allowing you to see with greater sight, to see, to comprehend with unlimited vision, to see and behold the magnificent force fields of life that are everywhere throughout your Earth's atmosphere, the cosmos, the universe itself. Beloved hearts, the vast majority of the people of Earth have little or no awareness of God, Goddess, all that is. The people have little awareness of the universal love consciousness that is everywhere and is the source of all that is. 
There is no real awareness amongst the minds of the people to the natural laws of cause and effect. And there is little awareness of how this mighty universal law is acting in the experience lives in accordance to how people are using their minds. Religion has taught, some religions have taught many untruths. For the truth is that no matter what a person's beliefs may be, religious beliefs in regards to salvation from sins, this is all human fallacy. Since I, Papa Son, say unto you, it is the law of cause and effect. And since the law of cause and effect is imponderable and intrinsic, inherent, the most natural characteristic of existence itself. Therefore, as Mother Akasha has said, you cannot divorce effects from causation. Nor can you erase causation and still have effects. In every level of beingness, beloved hearts, this is truth. Yet sadly, Human beings' beliefs regarding sin and punishment, beliefs created by man, not God. Yet these beliefs of sin and punishment have covered over in the minds of the people the truth cause and effect. That each of you, through the way that you use your minds, the actions of your life, are creating the effects that you experience. It is most unfortunate the majority of the people have no awareness of the natural universal love consciousness, the source of all that is, that is everywhere in your atmosphere, everywhere throughout the cosmos. Well, precious hearts, if you are not aware of the gifts of life, then those gifts are not available to you. This is why we journey, why we grow, why we discover, why we become enlightened and wiser. And when we discover these mighty forces of life that are everywhere, then we can begin to employ those forces, cooperate with those forces. While the previous century brought forth the discovery of quantum physics, 
there was very little interest in pursuing the metaphysics, the spiritual science of quantum physics. So once again today in the world the people have little awareness little awareness of quantum fields, the Akashic field, little awareness of the universal information fields of infinite energies and possibilities that is everywhere. This is the light of divine mind. And this is the love of divine heart that fulfills all right use of mind. All of this that is everywhere present is hidden in those words, I am here, I am there, I am everywhere. And all of this is life, beloved hearts. Life. So I knew that as each of you would begin your journey studying higher truths, gaining awareness of how life fulfills itself, when one aligns with another group of mighty statements of creation and not only aligns with them, lives with them. I am the light of God that never fails. I am the love of God that always fulfills. I am the truth of God that always prevails. And as you become aware of these, aware of these revelations, and you discover how life is everywhere, ready to be tapped into, then each of you begin to attract to yourselves, fulfill in your experience all that you are growing in awareness of and all that you declare in right use of your minds. So when you declare, I say yes to life, and you are aware of this greater life that is everywhere, waiting to fulfill the law of cause and effects in the use of your minds. I knew that life that contains all would draw to you all that you desire and require. And now, precious hearts, let us ponder for a few moments what we would encourage you to abstain, what we would encourage you to achieve. You've already had this. And perhaps the most important of what we have invited you to abstain from is your willingness to withdraw from worrying, from judgment, and from fear. It takes considerable studies of spiritual science 
considerable study that is not yet available in the outer world colleges, study of how the mind and the feelings, of how the mental body and the emotional body work together in initiating causes that then magnitudes, magnetizes to you the effects of those causes. So perhaps today, I may impress upon you that since the average person on earth has so much imbalance between their mental and emotional between their mind and their feelings and are not fully enlightened to the intimate interface of mental and emotional and how they work together in initiating causes out into your world that must magnetize, magnetize to you that affects. So let Papa Sun make a point to you. Unfortunately, in the achievements of the development of the human mental body and emotional body, tragically, the greatest achievement in the use of mind and feelings is the destructive use of mind and feelings. It is worrying. Worrying. And may I, and may I, Papa Son, if you understand this word pairing, P-A-I-R-I-N-G. Pairing. Worrying is so destructive in your mind and your feelings. It is the immediate, immediate pairing of your mental body and your emotional body. It is these two bodies, your mind and your emotions, that you use as a creator being to initiate cause. And the world brings you the effects of those causes. Or if people could only allow the true sunshine of love and joy and happiness and dwell, dwell on joy and happiness and the fulfillment of joy and happiness in their lives, in their relationships, in their world of manifestation. Instead of dwelling through the activity of worrying of what hasn't even happened yet. Or using their mind so destructively to keep thinking about the past. Mental references. The way people use their minds is just unbelievable. And it reveals to us that the people of earth are not aware of the most basic, intrinsic, universal law, cause and effect. And it is by your thinking in your mind and your emotions that support that thinking, that you initiate cause in your life, and then you experience the effects. P 
People say monstrous things. Phrases such as, well, you know what happened before. Constantly bringing the past into Tomorrowland. Beloved, precious hearts. If any of you could demonstrate that through the use of your mind and your feelings, that you can initiate thoughts and emotions of such joy and happiness and fulfillment in every activity of your life, if you could do that with such divine intensity, releasing waves of determination, in that kind of thinking and corresponding emoting. And if you could do that as intensely as some of you do in worrying. Might you, beloved hearts, we love you so much. Might you understand so deeply if you use your mind to fear, to worry, to judge against self, to judge against others, and your thoughts become fueled with strong emotion. You are setting forth cause. And then you will draw to you the effects of that cause, which will not be pleasant. Do you realize what I am trying to tell you? People are very capable of almost instantly pairing their mental and emotional bodies bringing them together, working them instantly. Well, that's what you're supposed to do. Laws of manifestation, cause and effect. But the people have not demonstrated they can do this with the positive side of life. Rather, the people have demonstrated too often that they can engage in some worrying activity in their mind that draws forth corresponding emotions and somehow forgetting that engaging in that use of your mind and emotional body is not going to produce a result called effects. If you all just remember for a few moments, times in your life, that you have worried intensely about something. And if you will remember that when you did that, you were 100% engaging your mind and your emotional body. And that is all it takes to create a cause sent out into the world and it will not be long before you experience the effects of this. Let us be kind. Let us be gentle. Let us be generous with our life. There is no God judging you. Sin is a human creation. Not God. There is these ideas of sin and punishment. They are human fallacy. The laws of our universe, of growth, is the law of cause and effect. Nothing else. So if you think that you're being punished by something... Perhaps you best go back in your own mind 
and search for what kind of thinking and emoting that you engaged in, creating a cause that initiated an effect of some kind of suffering in your life. It is my desire. It is my desire to help each of you. So that when you declare, I say yes to life, joy, happiness, fulfillment, inspiration, determination, waves of this rise up in you and begins to draw to you from the divine universal consciousness, creative force fields that are everywhere, all the effects of you initiating the most wonderful cause. You do not have to know everything about the universe. You do not have to be infinitely omniscient. But you do have to have some awareness that life is everywhere. Remember that statement, I am here, I am there, I am everywhere. Life, a divine universal force field that contains all that is, is there waiting to bring forth the fulfillment of every cause you set forth in your life. Let's do this. Let's tell ourselves that we do not give ourselves any permission to engage in any further worrying. Worrying is not only a waste of our time. Oh, that's very nice to say. What a waste of time. Come on, blessed hearts. Let's get into the science of it. Worrying is the most destructive use of your mind and feelings. It is the pairing of your mental and emotional body that will then produce effects very quickly. And they will not be pleasant. So let us return to our joy. Let me not hear from you, well, I can't help myself. It's just a habit that I have. Well, I suppose if that's your experience, then a little bit of practice, getting after yourself, observing yourself more closely, disciplining yourself. If your mind has a tendency to worry, you just get in there and say, no, I fully understand what worrying does. And it is not a cause that I wish to any further initiate in my life. Rather, I will have faith in the amount of study and revelations, in the amount of enlightenment and awakening that I've gained thus far, Enough remarkable faith to know that as I say yes to life every day, ten times if necessary, then life says yes to me. And life, beloved hearts, is God, goddess, all that is. Life. Is divine universal consciousness, universal force fields, and more and more and more. The universe contains everything to fulfill every cause that you set forth into motion. And therefore, let the greatest cause that you initiate 
every morning, afternoon and evening, a willingness to declare inwardly and a willingness to find your voice and declare it outwardly. I say yes to life. And then you can follow that with, and life says yes to me in all its victory. Beloved precious hearts, we've got to get this right. Mother Akasha in the tree of life class just last night announced that she will be advancing the knowledge because you're all ready. And she will be delivering knowledge to you that has never been in this world. You'll have no reference books to go and try to fit the new knowledge that Akasha will bring forth now because you're ready. You are ready, precious hearts. But you're going to drag your own state of becoming down. You're going to drag yourself back. If you engage in things that are destructive causes that must create unpleasant effects in your life. It is up to you to decide. Oh, the joy of saying yes to life. The joy of knowing life is everywhere. Beyond everything that is visible in this world is the invisible. And the invisible is not really invisible. It's just that you need a higher sight to see it. Beyond the physical are shimmering particles of light waiting to become future forms, future manifestations, future effects of the causes that you initiate every day. Together, let's get back to the basics. Let's live by this fundamental I am Papa Son. I will help you. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.